All right, how's it going, everybody? It's Alorth here, and I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, you're watching this on May 11th, or any day after that. Um, I hope you're having a good weekend. Um, we yesterday we checked out. Um, you won't go before you're supposed to by Knocked Loose. I give it a solid nine out of ten album. Now that I've been sitting on it for a little bit, um, even though I'm recording these videos back to back, I've still sat on it for just at least a little bit. Uh, yeah. My favorite album from them, not my favorite material from them. Still a really good album, though. Um, it's in the top five for album of the year. And um, Slaughterhouse 2 is my favorite song off that album. And probably one of my favorite Knocked Loose songs now. But um, now an album that I've been hyped up for at least the past little bit. Because I just recently got into like Monster Flames. Like, heavily. Um, this is their new album, The Cycles of Trying to Cope. We hadn't got a new album from them since... No Eternity in Gold. It's been four years since we got a new album from them. Three years since we got any, like, new kind of EP or anything. I got into them with Pure Like Porcelain. So, about three years ago. And, uh... Yeah. The singles from this album. I listened to Disassociative Being once. I liked it. But, Kintsugi is my favorite song off the um, of all the singles. And uh, it looks like we're actually opening with the first two singles. So let's check out the cycles of trying to cope. First track, Angels Weep. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna get right into it. I've been waiting for this album a while, and I love this song as well. Lyrics pulled up for the songs that have the lyrics for them. <laughs> They've not ever changed up their sound, like ever. Super solid track. 
very solid track. Um, when I heard the singles, I had a feeling that this was going to be like the opening song to the album, just because it has that vibe to it. Like, it could have been this, that, or Paradigm Trigger. I could have seen either or being the opening song. But we get them back to back, so it's cool. It's cool. The sound of A great way to start this album off, by the way, guys. It's a great way to start the album off. Next up, we have Over the Garden Wall. No lyrics, which is fine. I don't expect these new songs to have lyrics with them. This is about to hit. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh! That riff is so cool, dude.
about to get a banging chorus. I forgot to. Solid, dude. to my playlist real fast. Yes, my playlist is called Songs That Give Me Serotonin. That song was fucking killer, guys. Holy shit, that was such a good song, dude. I like this so far. We, we were pretty rapid fire for the first three songs, so it's nice to get a slower one.
Yeah, this song is killer, dude. That was that was a nice change of pace from the past three songs being like just blistering heavy. Now we got another single. Does it have lyrics? No lyrics. Strange. Word. Yeah, dude. That riff is so good, dude.
go. Hell yeah, dude. Get a drop. That was a banging ass song, dude. So, we've only got five songs left. Boo! I'm just kidding. Oh. Uh, get it. Let's talk. Let's just take a quick second and discuss how Like Monster Flames might be the most consistent metalcore band. Like, I mean, they've been the heavy. Since fucking uh, when did their first album come out? Twenty eleven. We do some scrolling. We do some scrolling. It was 2011, yeah. I mean, they had that EP in 2010 that I've actually never listened to. I've not ever listened to that EP of theirs. But, yeah, they've been in the game for a long time. And they've been consistent for the entirety of it. Like, gotta give them props, dude. So, uh, yeah, let's finish up these last few songs. To Know Is To Die. My favorite song still so far is Over The Garden Wall. Like, without a doubt. Oh, shit.
not yawning because I'm bored. I'm yawning because I haven't had caffeine yet. chorus so there's a couple things i picked up i think this song might be a slight nod to their first album funny enough we were talking about that you know there's the part in the breakdown where he said i had a dream where we didn't exist i could have swore i heard him drop you won't be missed as well i mean it could just be lyricism i could just be i could just be shooting like shit right now i got no fucking clue but i was i picked up on that i was like he referenced the first album twice the name of the album plus like their most one of their more popular songs i don't know what do i what do i know Interesting. Yeah, I really like that song. And it's my favorite. It's so catchy, too, dude. And the lyrics are... I can barely hold on to anyone or anything. Somewhere to go and 
Until I question every answer unknown I just needed some space to breathe Until my lungs collapsed on me When it Such a good song. Expect a cover of that song soon, by the way. Expect a cover of that song very soon. Word. Okay. That's a good riff, dude. That's one thing you can always expect with this band, is uh, the solid riffs. Even after Zack left, they've had really solid riffs. Hell yes, we got two songs left.
This album's definitely in my top five as well. say as much as people probably aren't going to agree I do think I like this more than the uh, Knock Loose album but this is also more the sound that I like like this is more so the sound that I listen to all the time versus the heavier hardcore like Knock Loose style stuff so I think I I think I was knowing I was going to gravitate to this more and like I'm going to gravitate to Wage War more than the rest and stuff like that it's like I have an expectation like, a, there was an expectation set in already. Very happy to uh, say that this album has also lived up to expectations. For me personally. some In some ways exceeded as well because... Man, some of the singles were like some of my favorite songs of the year. And then there's non-singles that are better than those singles. Like, it's insane. Uh, we have the last song here for the album. What do we see when we leave this place? Long, long song name. Um, this is just a long thing, period. What do we see when we leave this place? By Light Balls to Flames on the album The Cycles of Trying to Cope. It's a lot of words. Anyways, let's get into it. I don't know what to expect. These guys can do anything. By the name of it, we're going to get a softer the song. Title. Woo! Let's 
So that was The Cycles of Trying to Cope, the latest album from Like Moss to Flames. I, uh, my ranking of my total albums of the year right now goes Boundaries, Death is a Little More. I wasn't expecting to like that album when I, like, was hearing the singles. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like it. But for those of y'all that have not heard this album, this song, Blood Soaked Salvation featuring Matt from motherfucking Kublai Khan, that song, Turning Hate into Rage, Easily Erased, like, this album is fucking insane. So my rankings right now of my albums of the year, in order, is Death is a Little More, The Cycles of Trying to Cope, fucking um, Half-Living Things, Alpha Wolf, and then you're, you'll go when you're supposed to, or you won't go before you're supposed to, by Noctilus. Do I have hopes and the belief that New Order of Mind is going to take Boundary's place? Yes, I believe so. But there's only one way to find out, and since this is going on for about, about 47 minutes now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. This album, it is... It's not my favorite. It's, it's similar to Like Mo or similar to uh, Knocked Loose. It's not my favorite Like Monster Flames album. It has my favorite songs on it. But overall, I think my favorite album is still No Eternity in Gold. And then my favorite EP is still Pure Like Porcelain. I'll remember when that came out in 2021. Like, that whole entire... Because it was like November of 21, right? Was that when this came out? I think it was. Regardless, I uh, I remember I spun that that entire holiday season. Like I made I made family members upset with how much I was listening to that EP. Anytime I drove, I was listening to that EP. But uh, yeah, this album is my second favorite album of the year. It's so so good, dude. Like the top songs for me are Paradigm Trigger, Angels Weep, Over the Garden Wall. To Know Is To Die, Kintsugi, the, I think it was this song, Everything That Once Held It Together, then What Do We See When We Leave This Place. Those are like my top songs of the album. And we do have one more album to check out that we'll be posting. You'll see it on May 12th, which is tomorrow. Um, uh, That's the new Dealer album. So I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys be. Thank you for watching this video. Um, If you enjoyed the video, let me know down in the com or let me know by leaving a like. And then let me down in the comments, what was your favorite song off this album that we checked out today? I think my favorite song on the album is Over the Garden Wall. That, the riff, the riffing in that album is insane. It's between that and Kintsugi for me, are, as my two favorites on this album. But that's going to do it here. You guys have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you all in the next video.